It's the start of a new vlog week. Yes, indeedy. It is Friday. Um, Y'all, it is a scorcher here in Northeast Ohio today. Real feel. Well, let me see. I think regular temps are in the lower 90s. Real feel today is supposed to be 104. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I am I'm just running a couple of errands here this morning, and then Anthony and I are spending the day in the pool. <laughs> oh, yes. Thank God for central air. I did put a post up on uh, Facebook to my friends and family that, you know, heat is the number one cause of death in this country when it comes to weather-related deaths. Um, and I just said, hey, you know, if I have central air. I have a pool. If you need relief from the heat, you or your family... You're more than welcome to come on over, bring some food and some snacks or some drinks or whatever. And uh, my house is your house. Mi casa es su casa, baby. Yeah, so I just feel for people because I know that there are some people out there on my friends list that don't have central air. They're struggling. So I just thought it was the right thing to do to open that up to people. Whether or not they take me up on it is up to them. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be a hot one. Hot, hot, hot. Uh, yeah. So, I am uh, off and running. And, uh, whoo -hee, hold on here, buddy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I hate when people attempt to walk and I'm turning. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But anyway, I will uh, holler at y'all later. I'll probably get a little bit of footage while we're out in the pool today. So, talk to you later. Bye. It is much later in the day now. We we spend a lot of time in the pool. I didn't really record much. Sorry, I was in the moment. <laughs> what are you going to do? Now we're inside a made carne asada, which I probably did not pronounce that correctly. Uh, for dinner, we made tacos. They were in the crock pot all day. How were the tacos, Anthony? I'm yeah. so sorry about earlier. I was going to scare her and then the camera battery ran out. Yeah. Yeah. He apparently, while I was gone running errands, was going to frighten me using the camera. And he did not know how to change the battery. And apparently the battery died. It happens. I've been there. I've been there. It's okay. So now we just got done eating and we're actually watching Avatar The Way of Water. Anthony's seen it before with my oldest, my oldest, my daughter, but I have not seen it. So we are sitting here watching that and I'm getting ready to eat because I stopped at Chupa's Marketplace earlier today. Chupa's is like a little like farmer's marketplace. They're kind of a pricey, but they have the greatest food. I got so much good stuff. And I want to show you, we got uh, key lime pie. Wow. It's key lime cheesecake. It looks freaking delicious. And I have my Simply Spiked. And that is how I choose to spend a Friday night. <laughs> yeah. So that's what we're doing right now. And we're going to watch this movie and uh, I'll alert y'all later. Anthony was already up, so he was like, 
Yeah, yeah it was storming really bad, and it was raining in the middle of the night, and blah, 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 and I'm just like, Ugh. So that might put a kink in today's plan, because this afternoon here at about 2, Anthony has his baseball team's like end of year party ice cream at Dairy Queen, because that's who he plays baseball for, is Dairy Queen. Um, or that's the sponsorship of his team, is Dairy Queen. So we have the end of the year party there at 2, but then after that, like later in the evening, like 6, 7-ish, I was going to take him over to the Holy Family Festival that's over here in Parma Heights. And um, they get, you know, they get rides, food, a beer garden. You know them Catholics, man. We love some alcohol and, and some gambling, y'all. So uh, they have the gambling, pool tabs, all that stuff. So every time I go to those, I end up winning a couple hundred bucks. So fingers crossed that works out in my favor today. But here's the thing. If, and then on top of it, they were going to have fireworks tonight. But here's the thing. If it rains, we're going to have to do that tomorrow instead of today. And irregardless, he's going and spending the night at my daughter's tonight. They're having big sissy time tonight. So I think she said she's going to teach him how to make homemade noodles. Yeah, my daughter can cook, yo. She can cook. Oh, my God. For being 22, she can cook. So, yeah, that's what we're doing today. And I'm hoping the weather holds out. If not, we're going to go to the festival tomorrow. Anthony just said that his sister's the best at making salmon. And she is. She, she, the girl can cook. Her mama, her mama taught her, yo. Her mama taught her. What do you think she learned it? So, if we don't end up going tonight and Anthony is with his sister tonight and he's not here, I'm probably going to just record some videos that need to get done. And, uh, we'll go to that tomorrow and then maybe go to the mall on Monday. But if we go to the festival tonight I'd like to go to the mall tomorrow because I have not been inside the mall I was y'all I was looking back to my videos last night after we got done watching the way of water avatar one and I have not been to the mall in like three months I was like has it been that long because I know I always get footage when I go and I'm, that was the last time I put anything up was three months ago hell I think it was four months ago so I want to get in there into a Victoria's Secret, see what kind of new stuff is in there. I've had some of you guys asking me, hey, can you rate these new lines that BS has out? So we'll go look. Yes. But that'll be either tomorrow or Monday. So yeah. And then next weekend, y'all, I'm having that garage sale. Mm -hmm. Your girl ain't playing. Your girl's trying to make some money. Some money. And I'm looking into this other side hustle called Sniff Spot where you can rent out your backyard area, especially if you have like a fenced in yard area or an area with like a sitting area and stuff, you can rent it out to people who want to bring their dogs to have somewhere to run if they don't have a backyard or if they don't have a place their dog can just run. They have to clean up after their animal, they have to be vaccinated, etc. blah, 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 blah. Um, but they rent it out like anywhere from between 15 to $20 for a half hour to an hour with one dog. So I'm looking into that currently because I do have a, that fenced in, that yard is all fenced in back there and it's got a nice sitting area back there for people to just chill while their dog's running around. Yeah, yeah, so. Oh, speaking of the devil, it's my daughter. Yeah, I'll make sure I throw it in the car. All right, I love you, honey. All right, bye. Yeah, okay, so. She left a reusable bag here at that she needs for grocery shopping, and I guess it's a nicer one that she has, and so she left it here in the garage on July 4th, so I'm going to get that back to her later. Uh, what's up, dude? Anthony. What's up? You just want to say hi to everybody? You're not, like, you're not filmed enough? Yeah. Check the porch for periodically, because I'm expecting packages from Amazon today. So, boy. Oh my goodness. Okay, just set it down right here, please. And then can you put this in the fridge for mama? Thank you. No, you're not drinking coffee creamer. No, sir. No, sir. I ordered more pool filters yesterday because I'm out of pool filters. And the one I have is not... 
yeah. Here, this comes out in the recycle bin. Outside. Not in the house. Basement? No. Take it outside. Where's my baseball bat? Every time I get something from Amazon and it comes in a big box, he likes to take the baseball bat and or either he'll make it add it to his fort in the basement or he beats the crap out of it with a baseball bat. It's, it must be a boy thing. Like that testosterone is just thumping and pumping. He's got to get it out. Yeah, I see. So I did get some pool filters. Um, yeah, so I'm going to need to swap out that here in a little bit. But I also want to tell you guys about... All right, go hit. I swear to God, kids. Boys, I'm telling you, having been married twice. Yes, your girl has been married and divorced twice. So, having been married twice, I can tell you, and raised, raising two boys, uh, men get older, they don't really ever grow up. I said what I said. So, anyway, but I wanted to tell you guys, you know, I'm 44 years old. I'm going to be 40, 45 in February. Um, and... As I've gotten older, I've noticed like my energy has gone down. Now, sure, I'm, I know losing weight will help that. Which, by the way, y'all, on my fitness journey, I have lost 14 pounds so far. Um, I know it's not a lot since May in the last two and a half months. But it's slow and steady wins the race, right? Right? The turtle and the hare. You, know, you guys know about that, right? So, anyway, it's still, I'm a work in progress. I'm going to actually talk to my doctor about some things and... Um, yeah, I gotta make an appointment with her, that reminds me. But every time lately that I've gone to donate plasma, my iron level has either been too low to even donate or it's like right on the borderline. So I started doing some research because I've also noticed my energy is low. I've been having problems sleeping for like the last couple months. And Women, apparently, when they hit their 40s, really start needing to increase supplements and so forth into their daily routine to help with things. So, after digging around, I decided to order three different supplements that I'm adding to my everyday taking of pills and seeing how they work. I did order iron plus vitamin C because I did read that vitamin C when taken with iron will help the iron absorb into your body better and it supposedly boosts energy. So um, I am gonna try these out. These were highly rated on Amazon. I will leave the link to these below in the description box. Um, I also did get B12. I wanted to get B12. It's supposed to help reduce fatigue and support brain function. Um, I did read that vitamin B12 is like huge for energy and that people notice a difference on whether or not they take it. That day they notice a difference. So I'm really hoping this helps because I feel like I have like, I'm always tired. Now granted, I'm always doing something so that would attribute to that. But I feel like I don't have nearly the amount of energy I did even five, six years ago. So we'll see how that works. And I also did pick up a collagen complex. It has type 1, 2, 3, 5, and 10 collagen complexes. It's good for hair, nail growth, skin enhancement, and joint support. Um, yeah, so it promotes digestive function, joint, bone, and cartilage health, cardiovascular system, and of course, hair, skin, and nails, as we all know. So I'm going to start taking all three of these on a daily basis and see if that improves my anything. <laughs> I'm telling you, getting older kind of sucks, bruh. You wake up one day and you start hurting and you have no energy and your hair starts thinning out and where your hair is thinning up here, it starts growing in abundance down here and you're just like, This is my life now. This is my life. This is my life. Yeah. So, um, yeah, that's where I'm at today. So I'm about to go in here and sit and actually review my one video that I'm going to be posting Tuesday, I think. And, um, yeah, and then I'll get ready and take a shower and all that good stuff to go to Anthony's, um, his Dairy Queen party. So 
Yeah, y'all. Um, yeah. I'll holler at y'all a little bit later, bruh. We are on our way right now to Anthony's baseball, end of the year baseball party at Dairy Queen. And of course, we're running late. It starts in five minutes and we are like 10 minutes away. So, I mean, we're only gonna be like five minutes late, but I am the type of person, I like to be on time or early to wherever I am going. I don't like being late like ever. To me, it's seriously irritating when people disrespect my time. So I don't like to disrespect other people's time. But anyway, we're on our way to that. And um, the weather is still kind of iffy for today. I'm going to have to clean up the back patio all again. When I came outside to get in the car to, for us to come here, I'm like, bruh, the storms last night that rolled through here again were pretty powerful because my back patio is jackered up all over again. So I have to clean that up. Then we got to go to the laundromat because I'm like, I got to get laundry done. I haven't gotten laundry done in over a week. So... And I know y'all are probably like, when are you going to get your damn dryer fixed, Mary? Well, when I have the funds to do so. Other things have priority. Priority to me is experiences and spending time with my son doing fun summer activities. Like, I'd rather spend the money to go to a festival and create memories as opposed to getting the dryer fixed. Because the dryer can wait. As long as my washer is working, that's, that's priority right there. Okay? Yeah. So, yeah, we have to do that, and depending on the weather tonight, it's going to depend on that festival tonight, whether it's tonight or tomorrow, so, yeah, but yeah, that's all I got. We will be uh, cutting here in a second to uh, end of your baseball party. Meow! old mother over for dinner and then we're gonna go to that festival together provided the weather holds out but uh, look what she's making here she's what are you making Desi homemade ravioli and a white cream sauce with some mushroom onion garlic asparagus tomato already and then the um, ravioli is stuffed with spinach and like a mix of one she made already. And you can see she's rolling out the dough. Slowly but surely. Yes.
to the festival. I'm just waiting for Anthony to use the restroom and uh, we're about to walk in. to get my margarita from Margaritaville. One thing about these Catholics, they love their alcohol and their gambling. We're in the bingo hall. We're playing bingo. You know that, that church bingo. She's a, she's what's a your YouTube? W YouTube. What's your YouTube? Make it happen with Mary. Well, subscribe. Thank, you know, so God, God, God. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. how carnival fish survive so we're about to find someone else to re-gift it to who are you gonna give it to
good fireworks or what? What do you guys think? Now it was pretty good. Were they good? I like where they were shooting oh, up the cameras on. Is it good? Was it good? I think it was good. I think it was good. I like where they were shooting up the screaming group. Like something from Ghostbusters where the spirits are being released all in the town. And they're flying everywhere. Yeah, the spirits flying everywhere. Phantoms. <laughs> Phantoms. Banshees. 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 It was good. We had a good time tonight. <laughs> Happy Sunday! It is Sunday evening and um, I spent most of the day today making videos and stuff for the rest of the week that I had to get done so far as uh, video editing wise. Tomorrow we are going to go to the mall and check out some stuff and um, I'll bring you guys with us for sure for that. But tonight we're just chilling in the backyard. Anthony's over to friends right now. They're doing this big inflatable like water slide thing. And then I uh, started a fire here in the backyard. So I love, we love having a, like a campfire in the backyard while we're watching movies and stuff. The smell of wood smoke is just such a powerful memory trigger for me. And it just takes me back when I was a kid growing up. We went camping literally every single weekend from the time I was born until before my father got really, really sick. I was probably about maybe eight. Um, we literally went every single weekend because we had a camper out in Lodi, Ohio. So the smell of wood smoke is just ingrained in me as something comforting and I love it. So... So to me, I just view it that way. I'll always view it that way. Even during the day. I don't need to have a fire at night. I, it can be just during the day, like all day. So yeah, so we're having a fire. We're going to watch TV. We're going to watch a movie out here tonight. And then tomorrow's Monday. We're going to have the mall tomorrow. And of course, I work Tuesday through Thursday in the office. So yeah. Y'all, yesterday, before we went to the fair, to the festival, I we went to the laundromat to dry clothes. And tell me why I came out here and I was taking a load of laundry to the car and the entire side of the house was just flooded with water. And I peek around the corner here and the one hose from the pool was completely pointing out in the direction of the side of my house here and was just spurting water everywhere because it was attached to the filter. Here, let me show you guys what I'm talking about so you know what I'm talking about. Right here we have the filter. See this hose here that comes up out of the filter and puts the water back into the pool? This hose was completely on the ground shooting water up the entire side of my house. Like this whole area was completely flooded. Completely. Y'all, there is no way this thing will come out on its own. Look. I, like, I'm tugging on this. It's not going to come out. <sighs> Tell me why it was laying on the ground completely, completely just shooting water everywhere. Why would it be doing that? It would take physical force. Anthony was in the house with me the entire time. The dog was out here, but what the hell would the dog be? She didn't got thumbs. And you see the way that, that tubing is. It's not like she can just run by it and knock it out. My camera here in the back, I checked it and there was like no footage for the time period when it happened, which I think is very odd. Um, I've had some other really weird things happen. Like a couple years ago, the water faucet on the side of the outside of the house here by my side door... I, it was the winter time. I went out to take the garbage out, and when I stuck my head out, I could hear water hitting the ground. I looked. My water faucet is completely turned on, like full blast, and it's the dead of winter. In fact, it was like January, and it was freezing out. It was like eight degrees outside, and I'm going, what the? So I come out. I literally had to turn it 
to turn it off. So it wasn't like something inside broke and it just started shooting water. No, it was turned in the on position. Anthony was in the house with me. There was no one else home at the time. Bruh. I sometimes wonder if people in the, like, are people messing with me? Did someone come in my yard and turn that water faucet on? Did someone come in my yard and yank that hose out of the pool? Because it, I didn't get the video cameras until after that had happened. And then I put video cameras up. But ironically, like I said, there's no video footage of the pool. Which I think is weird. But I also wonder if it's something almost, I don't want to say supernatural, but I've had a lot of weird stuff happen in my house. And I will talk about that at another time, but it's just very odd that things like that happen. Like, has anyone ever had, have you guys had something like that happen before where things like I described happened in your house? Because it leaves me a little freaked out sometimes. And I'd rather have it, honestly, I'd rather have it be a friendly ghost or a mischievous ghost as opposed to a human being coming into my property and messing with my property. You know what I mean? So, yeah. So, let me know what y'all thoughts are on that. I'm very curious. Still chilling out in the back, y'all. Peep this out, because I started noticing the mosquitoes coming out. And I've always heard about, like, tea tree balm and this and that, which I use from Bath & Body Works. But, yo, peep this. Look at this. It's coffee grounds that you light on fire. And I read it somewhere like in some, I don't know, like Pinterest post or something that if you light coffee grounds, fresh coffee grounds, and get them smoking, that it keeps mosquitoes away. And y'all, it's working. See the smoke coming from it? It's working, yo. Yes, yes. So I just wanted to share a tip. Coffee grounds caught on fire. Keep the skeeters away. Ay! What's poppin', y'all? It is Monday. Um, I think today's the 31st of July. Yeah, Monday the 31st. And I am getting ready to go with Anthony. We're going to go to the mall and just look around, check out some new stuff. And I also got some PR that came today from a company called Birds of Valhalla. Yes, um, I did kind of open it already. Oh. Birds of Valhalla. They are a soap company. And I think they also do some other stuff as well. It looks like they sent me a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. Um, I'm probably going to sit down and go over everything they sent me. I actually probably sit down and go over everything they sent me um, shortly and show you guys everything they sent me because I'm actually kind of excited. I did a little research on the company and they look like they got this stuff together. They are a startup company. I don't know exactly how long they've been around, um, but they're just, they're growing. They um, kind of reminds me of like the same setup that Sugar Milk Co., how they got started. So I'm really excited to test out their products and let you guys know, like, how are they? Because the smell coming from this box is amazing. That's all I'm going to say. So we're about to hop in the car, and uh, I'll talk to you in a few. Bye. So we made it to the mall. We're about to go in. I kind of got a crappy-ass parking spot. It's kind of way far back away from the door, but that's all right, because I need to get my steps in anyway. But... <laughs> You know where, like, the handicapped spots are at up by a mall? Well, there was also this other one. It was an empty spot. It was, like, the only empty spot closer to the doors. And I'm like, what is that? What is that? Because it had a different kind of, like, sign than I'm what I'm used to seeing. And it said uh, it was reserved for those wounded in battle, you know, for, like, veterans. And I said, oh, I can't park there. I said, I don't want to do that. I don't want to park there. That would be wrong. And Anthony goes, well, you were married. <laughs> you were wounded in marriage. That's technically combat. That's messed up. Bruh. Bruh. <laughs> oh my god, that 
that was funny. I was laughing. I'm just like, what? I was laughing. That was good. This kid is funny sometimes, y'all. Pay attention because he says some funny shit. had to get Anthony his, uh, what is it? What did you get? I got food. He had to get Mr. Hero. So, and they also, they have charging stations here in this mall, like by where the food eatery is. So I think that's kind of cool that they have, you know, like charging stations. So we're going to sit here and we're splitting like a Roman burger meal. And then we're going to go and check out some other places, so.
so we are back home from the mall. I did pick up a few things. I'm going to show you guys what I picked up. I already have this probably up on the channel already, but I'm going to show you guys. I did pick up one thing from Pink. Um, I did end up getting their warm vanilla. Yeah, it is shaved cinnamon, pumpkin cream, and marshmallow fluff. This one is banging, yo. Like, I really be liking this. It is super, super good. It almost has like a chai note to it that is super yummy. And y'all know me. I love that damn vanilla, yo. I can't stay away. Vanilla ho! I'm patrol! <laughs> yes, it's so good. And then they did give me a coupon at Pink. For $20 off a $50 purchase, plus a bonus gift, so I'm all for that. So I might have to, so I might have to go back there. And then, that's if they release more new new though. But then, from Bath and Body, I did end up getting the um, pumpkin coffee latte. I think that's what that is. The pumpkin coffee latte. I thought this was so cute, bro. It is freaking adorable. I love it. Let me see if I can get that around there. I love it. How cute is that? And then I did end up getting Ghoul Friend in the Shimmer Body Mist. Which, y'all, this ain't that strong. I sprayed some on. I wanted it for my collection, but it ain't that strong. I'm a little disappointed. Yeah. And then, you guys, you saw what I saw. I did end up getting the Chasing Fireflies in both the body spray and body cream. I have a review coming. Y'all are not going to want to miss that. Um, I'm wonder, I don't think it'll... Well, it might be up by the time you guys see this. So if it is, I will link it here so you guys can go back and watch it, but... Oh, do I have thoughts, yo. Like, serious thoughts. Um, it, I'll tell you, it, it's definitely giving me perfume vibes. And there's actually a couple that I would associate this with. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> so that's what's going on with that. But, um, yeah, we got home, and unfortunately, when we were leaving the mall, it was like rush hour. And when I was getting off the highway to get off, you know, close to my house, it was insane. I ended up having to drive, like, roundabout-ish to get home because the construction was insane and whatnot. So, like, last night, you guys, I had that fire in the backyard, and Anthony's friends came over, and we were just chilling in the back backyard, hanging out, and we were watching TV, and some of the things that these kids were telling me, well, first of all, the one little boy there, now mind you, it's like 10 o'clock at night, 10 o'clock. Three little boys are brothers and they literally live two doors down. I know their parents, their parents know me, and we've been at lots of events together. So they knew where their kids were at and they literally only had to walk two doors down to get home. But this other little boy that was here was seven. And I'm like, I'm asking him, I'm like, do your parents know where you're at? It is 10 o'clock at night, sir. He's like, oh, well, they know I'm playing. It's 10 o'clock at night and you're seven. And then some of the things these kids were telling me about like their home life, things going on inside their house. I I was a little taken aback and <laughs> I mean kids will tell you some stuff without you even asking. They just offer up all the deets and tell all the details. I mean my kids never really like that and I mean even now Anthony there's nothing to really tell. There's nothing going on in my house to, to tell, but I always was kind of about the philosophy of what goes on in my house stays on in my house. You know what I mean? You don't need to be telling the family's business all over town. 
And, but these kids, I almost feel like I'm like, the same little boy who it was seven and it's 10 o'clock at night was also telling me how his mother and his father physically fight often and how his father has been shot before and various things. I was just kind of like, oh, okay. Now I did say to this child, you know, if your parents are ever fighting really bad and they're hitting each other and you're scared and you run out of the house, I said, I would rather have you run here and I will, you know, we'll figure it out as opposed to you just, you know, like taking off because kids get scared. That kind of shit's traumatic to a child. And it it really kind of breaks my heart to think about what's going on in a lot of these homes behind closed doors. Because I know when my older children were smaller, my second, my first and my second marriage were both abusive marriages. They were, I was, I was a victim of domestic violence in both of those marriages. And I know what it did to my older children. So I kind of swore after I had Anthony and his father and I divorced that that I would never put Anthony in that type of situation. And I still deeply, deeply regret what my older children went through watching those marriages. But I can't go back and undo time. I can't reverse time. I wish I could. All I can do is try to do better, and that's what I've done. So there's no way that crap's going to go on in my house at this point and in this stage in my life. So it's very different with Anthony now. You know what I mean? But, yeah, that's crazy, man. You you have a, where, you don't know where your seven-year-old child is? Yeah. Now it makes me kind of look at his parents a little like this. You know what I mean? So anyway, anyway. But yeah, I wanted to show you guys. I know I got off on a tangent. Y'all, see what happens when I when, when I just sit and bullshit with y'all? See? See? It was kind of like when I used to do my get ready with me's. Mm, yeah. I wanted to show you guys what I had gotten from the mall. So now that I have, I can uh, chill out for a little bit. I might do another video tonight. I'm not really sure. I kind of want to chill because I got to work in the office tomorrow. Um, yeah. Yeah. You know what I noticed watching my videos before I go off on a squirrel here? I just want to say this really quick. What I watched, noticing, you know, watching my videos, I tend to say, um, a lot. Um, so I'm really, really trying to not say that as often moving forward. If you catch me saying it, leave me comments down below <laughs> because I don't feel it's proper communicative styles for vlogs is to be saying um a lot. So I'm trying to create better content for y'all. And I don't think um belongs in there with y'all. So yeah. <laughs> I'll holler at y'all later, yo. Boy. It is evening time and Anthony's taking the garbage out. He told me, he's like, mom, come look at the moon. So I want to show you guys the moon. Hello. Hello.